Hey y'all, Country Coders here. Today is tire rotate time. Uh, I have been putting off rotating these tires because they're heavy and I really didn't have a good place to do it. But, C. Lake Billion from Picktown Customs has been so gracious enough to let me use his personal garage at his home. Here in Alabama for the past week, as today, and the rest of the week, it's been raining. It must be monsoon season or something. I don't know. I've never seen it rain this much. But anyway, the tools you will need for this job is a good jack. I have four heavy duty jack stands because you don't want to get your truck up in there and have some cheesy little jack stand to give way on you while you're under it, partially under it, whatever. I hate getting under vehicles. So, you know, if there's that one million chance that it's gonna fall, guess what? It's gonna fall on country cut. So, I got some heavy duty jack stands, a good jack, and a four way lumber, lug, lug wrench, lug wrench. You're gonna need a good lug wrench I don't like using the impacts because you get you can get them on too tight. And when you're taking them off, you can pull your stud out or break it or whatever. So I use a lug wrench and I've all already went around all of the room and loosened the nuts before I jack it up. It's probably best if you do that. You can use an impact if you want to, but I just that's my personal preference. I don't want to use an impact because like I said, you can get them on too tight, you can mess up threads, you can do all kinds of stuff. So I'm gonna jack Jerome up and I'm gonna put him on jack stands. And of course, in this part, I'll speed the video up to where, you know, y'all don't have to sit through all that. So anyway, without any further ado, let's get on it and let's get this done. Cause I'm gonna go home and drink some beer. I've already loosened these lug nuts. So what we're going to do is simple. Used to, when I was younger, I heard the way you rotate tires was you took your back right side and put it on your left front side. And your left rear and put it on your right front. But I don't think that's the case anymore. I believe these, uh, these tires are directional. So that means you need to keep them on the side that they're on. I think, you know, don't quote me on that, but of course I didn't do any kind of research before I did this because Country Goods thinks he knows. So let's do this. I'm going to take that back right tire and this front right tire, and I'm just going to swap the positions on. So let me do that. I'm missing one lug nut back here already maybe a little bit longer than you know your impact cycle but it'll be all right and i have these center caps of course not every damn nut on this truck is the same size as you just saw i had to swap to a different size on my load wrench. And if that's the case with yours, if you use a four-way load wrench, I mark mine with a piece of tape. They got a piece of blue tape right there. So, oh, and you got these center caps on these wheels. Mine does anyway. I'm doing this is because they say as these tires wear 
they get louder, and they're not lying. I almost cannot listen to the radio because these things are so loud. And I looked at it yesterday, and I can really see the wear on the front tires more so than the back. Because the back, what, they're just spinning. They're just going down the road like this. Well, the front, of course, you're steering, so they wear more. And I think the front is heavier because of the engine. So, that's what we're doing. See, I got my tape on there, marked which side. You know, this is actually tiring. I should have took it to somebody to get them to do it, but, you know, to save money, you got to do stuff yourself sometimes. And it was a good video opportunity. Country Code is like to make videos for everybody's viewing pleasure. And, you know, if somebody don't know how to rotate, ugh, rotate their tires, then after this video, they will. They may want to do a little bit of research on it. But like I said, Country Code ain't 100% sure he's up doing this right. Let's see. Or see. When Country Cuz had these tires put on, some ass hat used a impact and got that one on too tight. Probably all thre uh, cross threaded and whatnot. Also good to have a breaker bar if you need it. So now, I've got four on there. That's good. See, when they put these tires on, when I originally got them, I guess they didn't thread it on there. They just threw it on with an impact, boogered up like everything. So now, Country Cuz is going to be at risk going down the road because. One of these damn lug nuts is broke. Okay, it didn't break, but it's cross threaded. And I don't have a thread chaser. So, whatever. Alright, on this step, I like to sit on the floor, prop the tire up in my lap, and lift it up with my leg. So, it's good that I'm not strong. Get as close to the wheel as you can. Get your glasses and all your other shit out of your pocket. Sit on the ground. And do this. That's right. Touch cuz. Woo! When you're turning these threads, or turning these nuts, make sure you turn them when they're on the thread, unlike ass hat up there did. And it's pretty much because of the up. Now I know I'm definitely going to have to pay somebody to fix that one. I've tried it before and it don't work. Or not for me anyway.
man is human. Alabama heat. Let's see if I can find me a rag. My hair all fixed up. Get off some of these uh, burrs. Oh, I'm glad to do it all. Yeah. These ain't mine. These are CBD, but they won't mind. Ooh, that is bad. Man, I wish I had a thread shaker. I hate putting them back on. That's all I need to be going home and Damn wheel fall off. Stupid people piss the country trailers off. I understand they're just trying to make a bullet to steal. This is my beard. And sometime or another, and it makes sense now, I guess Ass Hat, when he tightened that one on too tight, it broke through my center. Uh, thing for my wheel and now it's gone so thank you guys for he helping me little shit what to do Now I'll tighten them down with this lug wrench, but then I'll really wrench them down good when I get it to the ground. But not as much as I had then, but you, you get the picture. You can look in your uh, owner's manual or your Chilton manual if you choose to get a Chilton manual. It has really helped me on certain times when I've had to fix things on the own. And it'll tell you the um, torque specs for your lug nuts. See, I ain't going to get this one back on. Oh, oh that's a, that's a magic happening. Why y'all use impact? It is faster, but like I said, I just don't want to do that. I should have known that that was going to be like 
about that. It was kind of hard to loosen originally. the camera you know country cutters films by himself so he has to do everything by itself which is cool i get it everybody else got stuff to do all right hey country cuz i'm gonna have to all right hey see lay billion i'm gonna have to move your uh golf bag i know you're not golfing today because it's raining I'll move everything back like you had it before you get back. Is that fair enough? Okay. Well, all right, guys. You know, I hope y'all liked this video. If you did, hit that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up and hit the notification bell. Next time I upload some kind of whatever video, then you'll be notified. Thanks, guys.